Hey everyone, it's Ashley from scrapandash.blogspot.com and I'm just here to show you a quick video of some of the things um, this is just going to be a video of one item that I'm making for a craft show that I'm participating in June. So be sure to watch my videos as I'm probably going to be posting a lot of little mini projects for you to make. This is a lemonade holder and it's pretty cute and very fast and easy to make. And on the front it says when life gives you lemons and then you just untie it. make lemonade is inside with a lemonade pack and it's an adorable thing to make it'd be cute for get well packages or friendship cards just anything to make so I'll show you how I made it I did go ahead and already pre-score my cards but what you need to do first is just pick a color of card stock that you want to start off with I just did yellow and black and you want to cut your main piece eight and a half by eleven by three and a half so and if you have a score it this is when it comes really handy but you want to make your little flap for like the matchbox at three-fourths of an inch so you would just take that take your scoring tool and go down and then you would just crease it and then at that point this is still flat and then I just bend it over to make it easy and then fold it so there is your main piece and then I just wanted to give it a little something so I decided to stamp a border I'm sorry background punch or stamp on I'm kinda tired sorry and I used the same ink pad color so, sa so saffron from Stampin Up and this background stamp is called bead curtain background by Judykins So you just want to ink up your background stamp. And just to save time and also just to make keep the cost down, I am just going to do the front, so the not the back side. And I'm just gonna use a scrap piece of paper. And then I want that little flap also inked. And this one you can just do with your hands. Okay. So there is the design. I don't know if you can see it because it matches the cardstock. And then the next thing I did was create just a black piece of decorative edge to go on it and it is a two by three and a half and then I just took a decorative punch to it and I used the Fiskars treading water and you're just going to glue that down to the center And the next thing we need to do is make the holes for the ribbon that I used. And just to make it look nice, I'm going to just do the holes through the flap and then the front piece. So I'm going to put my fingers in there so I do not punch the holes through the back. So it goes all the way through. And just take the hole punch and again this is all about trying to be fast because you have a lot to do. I am just going to push it in as far as my punch goes and punch. And the same thing with the other one. Okay, so there are my holes. And then when you run the ribbon through, I just used a cheap 99 cent Ofre spool of ribbon and 10 yards, 1 8 inch, and it's just in black and it's shiny and silky. But just for the sake of time, since my holes are small, you can punch bigger holes to be easier, but 
I still want to look nice. What you want to do is take your ends of your ribbon through the top of your card or your little matchbox so that the ends are in the front. <clears throat> Fold over your matchstick and then stick the holes through these so that they are up at the top and then fold your bow. bow. So you should see the loop when you open it up. Now the top, <clears throat> I found a lemon clip art that was free on the internet and I just made a whole bunch of them. And same thing with that make lemonade in the inside. And so I have the little graphic that I resized and I typed when life gives you lemons dot dot. But the something that is very unique with this, it's scratch and sniff. So if you scratch it and then smell it, it smells like lemonade. And how you do that is you make your, your own embossing powder with just go out and buy your cheap lemonade or whatever flavor or scent you want it to be. Take one tablespoon of your powder and then two tablespoons clear embossing powder. And it has to be clear. And then I just put it in a Gerber food container or whatever storage you have because you can't obviously don't drink it and don't put it back in your clear embossing powder or else it will always smell like lemonade. So kind of designate that as its own and I just used a Versamark pen, colored it in, sprinkled my new embossing powder over it and melted it just like you would any embossing. So if you have questions about that just feel free to leave a comment and then I just trimmed it out and I'm just going to corner around the edges and then just put some adhesive on the back, center it, and then once I add that ribbon, there you go. And I just folded the lemonade pack and just put a glue dot in there. And there you are. A cute, easy little package. Fun to give to teachers. Um, any kind of project. Thanks for watching. Bye.